Okay, as we said on the previous video, we have data here on X1, which is the number of absences, X2, your placement test score, X3, the number of hours of doing homework per week, and Y is the uh, score on the test. And uh, we realized that with all three variables, this model is a significant model, and uh, the R squared for the model is clear up to 0.9924, meaning that 99.24% of the variability in your data points can be explained by these three variables. We also went through and realized that the constant is significant, B1 is significant, and um, so is B2, which is your placement test score, but here ours homework was not significant, and the reason was, and we already talked about this in the last video, that uh, X1 and X3 have a strong negative correlation, meaning you're not getting any new information from X3. Now, what's interesting is if you look at uh, X1, uh, well, let's look at uh, uh, X, let's see which one I was looking at here. On this one, we're looking at X1 and X2 by, himself, by themselves, skipping the X3, and the uh, coefficient determination for the model is very close to 99%, what it was with all three. So that's showing that you're not getting very much more uh, with that extra bit of data. Uh, if you look at just simple linear regression for uh, hours uh, per week doing homework in your grade, that variable that we casted out and said we don't need that variable, that turns out to be a significant variable by itself. So you would reject the null hypothesis, look at the p-value, very, very small. It's a right-tailed test, meaning that the more hours you do homework, the higher your grade is. But it wasn't a significant variable in the entire model because there was a strong correlation between x1 and x3. So if I would go back to the uh, two, uh, multiple reg2 sheet, where there's two independent variables, and replace this x1 here, uh, which is number of absences, with uh, the uh, X3 variable, which is number of hours on homework. Let me go ahead and do that a second. Copy and take that uh, right there and paste special that in as values. Now I got these two variables, hours on homework and your placement test score. How do they affect your grade? And what we'd see is that it's a strong uh, correlation here. Uh, the, you're up around 95% of the variability is explained. Are all the things important? Well, let's see, let's check this. Um, the constant isn't actually important, but let's check the variables. This one, the B1 variable, is important. So now that variable of hours doing homework is an important variable, and so is your placement test score. So um, it's an important variable by itself, but it's not an important variable when you have it in with all three. See here, it's an important variable, B1 being a person's uh, hours per week doing homework. But here, it's not an important variable. So I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's go ahead and make this variable right here, variable three, copy. And I'm going to make number of absences the number uh, I'm going to make that the X3, number of absences. And X1, I'm going to make that the number of hours uh, doing homework per week. And when I do that, uh, let's check over and see what variables are important now. X1 is the number of hours per week doing homework. So if we go down here and look at this, well, this is just your constant, and that's important. But look, it's still not an important variable. X1 is not an important variable here, B1, well, or X1 is an important variable, because we're getting all that information from B3, which is the uh, 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 number of times that you miss class. And that uh, we're getting all that variable plus more from this. So the B3 is the keeper, the one you want to keep. And uh, the B3, even though I switched around, your B3 is your number of absences. So by itself, um, hours per week of doing homework is a critical variable. Even this uh, hours per week doing homework with uh, placement test score. Both of those together are important variables for predicting a person's uh, uh, grade. But if you include in the uh, number of absences, 
then that information gives you all the information that this does, the hours per week of doing homework, plus more. So it makes this not an important variable. And uh, we can see that here. No matter which position we put that in, the hours a week per, uh, doing homework, when we have three variables, and one of them is this, number of absences uh, in the semester, then we don't need this variable. It's additional information. Think of it this way. If you want to find out how students do in a class and you have ACT scores, there's really no need to have their SAT scores. There's nothing new you're getting from that. Or if you have their placement, math placement test score, there's probably nothing new that you're getting from that that you didn't already know from their SAT scores or their ACT scores. So it's just redundant information. Whichever one of those is the best predictor is the keeper. And in this case, it was the uh, number of absences. So I'll stop there, and uh, that will do it with Chapter 9.